What is going on guys, NJ2005 Gundam here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the MSG Kotobukiya Beast Master Sword. So, this is one of the sets that I've really, really looked forward to get. The other being the Gigantic Hand, which I do not see myself using it for any customs, but I'm not sure. Anything could come in the future, but anyways, let's get into the review. So, this is all that you get here in the set. So, basically, you have a chain version of the sword, you have the sword shield and the lion head, and then you have two mecha faces for your MSG Kotobukiya frames. You have an adapter over here, you have a back of the head for the lion and then you have two handles one for each hand so let's take a look at the main event first so here is the shield sword combo so yeah the lion head does have a moving jaw so that's good these fins the main for the lion head which well this piece seems to pop off because i've been dismantling it just to see how it works and yeah i and I dismantled the actual uh, fins over here, so I do not remember which was which. So, uh, yeah, bear with me on that one. So, yeah, the lion head does have a moving jaw. It's not actually connected to the shield. You can take it off. And the kit does actually come with an adapter piece over here. This peg was not actually in the head. So you can actually take this off and use it as a peg extender. But as, as it is now with all the fins over here, it may require some external assistance. But it just looks cool as a symbol for the shield. Now the sword stores soundly in the shield like this. It just slides in. And it's just a sword, nothing really that special. However, if you're not customizing your Kotobukiya kits, you may run into some trouble because I've I've bought this set for my Gundam Ophiuchus, so I was worried about whether or not the hands would fit the sword. However, yeah, as I did say, unfortunately, yeah, here is my Ophiuchus Proto. It's just a proof of concept, nothing really special. I have it prepped with the open hand cover. But now here, you can see the handle is way too thick to fit in. I know, a bit of shaving would have done it, but yeah, this is one set of the problems however there are kits that will fit the sword let's say the uh sagittarius over here with the iron but the orphan's hands they will actually fit the sword if you give it a little bit of force i tried this sword on gundam leo it actually works pretty soundly yeah so if you kind of take apart the hand cover and force it in it will work so the problem only occurs in some of the kits. And now let me bring in one more example. Gundam Andromeda, my newest addition to my uh, collection. Now here is one of the hands. I forgot to switch out and prep for the review. And then let's see if the sword works. It does kind of work. It, you need to kind of force it, so I really do not recommend it. However, the Beast Master Sword does kind of work on double O hands. And then we move on to the chain version of the sword, which, yeah, you guys may recall the Regina's Julia does actually have a chain sword like this. But if you're asking me why is some parts of the wire black and some of them silver, well, I actually ran into a huge problem when I was assembling this, just because the wire was way too thick for some of the parts to fit in. So yeah, I kind of ran into this kind of problem where I tried to trim the wire coats, but then but then ripping it off. So I just said, f*** it. From this part onwards, I'm just gonna take off the entire wire coat and fit it in. But it turns out it's just a, a string of uh abacus beads so it was just loose it was just loose so i applied some glue onto it and it does work pretty nice yeah some parts are still reverting back to the abacus beads so i will have to apply some more glue from time to time so this is actually a problem i don't know if it's my wiring seals but or is it actually the wire that is a problem i doubt that the wire is a problem but yeah as it looks right now it's crap because I built it, but it is a neat idea to just just put segments of a sword 
into the wire to simulate the actual extended version. Now the wire is your just a regular modeling wire, so it, you can bend it into way more different combinations. There are a lot of possibilities with this wire. So yeah, definitely a neat addition, but it is a pain to build. So tell me if I'm if I did something wrong or just how to improve my just the wiring skills when it comes to these types of models because I may contemplate on getting another Beastmaster sword if I can find it because this was rare as hell. So if I do get another one, tell me how I can improve on my uh, wiring skills here. Just because I really do not want my Gunnam Ophiuchus to hold a sword that is just basically abacus beads shifting in and out. And then we move on to the handles here. The handles, yeah, as I did say in the intro, they are made one for the left hand, one for the right hand. So you can basically take anything that has a peg. So let's take the shield for example. You can peg it here. And then you can fit it into the left hand of model kits. Now let me bring back Ophiuchus just because, yeah. And the handle is the same as the sword. You still have to do a little bit of trimming if the handle doesn't fit into the handle of your choice but yeah you can use the old-fashioned way use the peg and peg it right onto the arm so it does work on gunpla kits that way that way I do not need to have make any modifications to the handles unless I really have to use them later on I don't know and then yeah you can use the handles on the lion head as well so you can have something like a lion head version of the Sengoku Astray shield and then I'm going to leave the line head here for now because it's needed for later. And then we have this adapter over here, which I'm really not sure. Yet yeah, this definitely works on single pegs, but I do not know whether this works on double pegs. Let me let me grab it. Here we have Gundam Aries with the uh, backpack removed. So let's see if this adapter actually works. Nope, it is just a slight bit too narrow for your regular Gundam double peg systems but if you're using it just for the single peg it is a bit loose so I do not think it will work that soundly either so yeah the adapter is mainly for Kotobukiya kits only so it's kind of a bummer so yeah this adapter if you're using this to customize your own Gunpla you're out of luck but if you're customizing your own Kotobukiya frames this will definitely come in handy now all that's left on the table is the two mecha faces and this back of the lion head. So basically I'm going to take one face as an example because both of the faces work the same. They just have different designs on the on the face here. So one is more like a fierce kind of Gundam-esque look with the snout over here. And one is just kind of like this masked figure right here. But both of them have twin eyes, so yeah, choose your pick. So what you basically do is, yeah, take off the handle, take off all of these fins, and then take off this peg, it's easier now, and then crack this open, tear the entire head apart. And yeah, I did break this while trying to, while trying to configure the face into the head, so yeah. But... That peg is, isn't really necessary to keep the entire thing in. So basically you just insert the jaw right into the bottom of the face like this. So everything, if you've done it right, everything should go flush together. And then just basically rebuild the entire head. i kind of getting my orientations messed up. Now with the face in there, of course, yes, without the colors it doesn't really stand out. So I definitely recommend you to paint it. So that's an option and now it kind of locks the jaw so it cannot move and then just place this back of the head with the uh, circular indent facing down to accommodate the, I don't know what, uh, the Kotobukiya MS frame head piece but anyways here is the mecha head within the lion head and I had to say it looks kind of weird on its own, but it just depends on what build you're using. So yeah, that's definitely an option. And then there's one last thing that I'm going to be able to try to show you. Now, this was not listed in the instructions, so you would have to go by the photo references. 
So basically take the shield right here. I do not want to tumble my light over. And then grab four similar looking fins, fin pieces. And then basically pick them onto the sides right here. You see you have a lot of pegs in the bottom, so there is limitless combinations, and especially with the other Kotobukiya sets as well. And then you basically just pick the these longer ones. I like I like to use the longer ones just for reach. And it just depends on how you're connecting this to your model kit. So in Gundam of Fucus's case, I really do not need the handles. So I can just basically peg that straight on and just peg in the line head if you prefer it. And now you basically have a claw from the shield, which is definitely cool. So you do not have to waste these main pieces if you're going for the mecha head, which is definitely cool. However, there is one big thing that I cannot show you guys with this kit. It is the lion form. I'm gonna put a photo up right now, right here. This lion form cannot be made without the actual MSG Kotobukiya frame. So I am terribly sorry that I'm not gonna be able to replicate that in my video. So yeah. Terribly, terribly sorry, but that is definitely one cool thing that I will be able to do if only I have a Kotobukiya MSG frame. But with that said, that is going to be all this kit comes with. Tell me in the comments below what you guys think about the set. And of course, I am open to suggestions on how to improve my wiring skills of this actual wire chainsaw just because it just looks hideous right now with the black and silver occasionally and the abacus beads on the sword so definitely i am open to uh suggestions on how to improve that but other than that tell me in the comments below what do you think of this msg set it, i believe it's still on stock online right now i've seen 1999's web shop it has a few of these, so definitely pick one up if you are, if you're interested, because this is definitely a decent weapon set for any model kit you're building. So, yeah, I would recommend this to all of you guys. With that said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and also subscribe for more gunplay reviews, gunplay news, and all the kind of stuff. Subscribe to the feature channels on my channel page if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye bye.